Hey folks, um, I was watching um, one of my streamers last night that uh, was pretty much entirely Pokemon, and he was playing this game called Pokemon Insurgents. So I was like, okay, um, I want to do a video about this, just just so my friends can see it, and anyone else that wants to. I mean, it may not be as good as his or not, but anyway. Let us get started. Obviously, new game. A year ago, all right, in the Torn region. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you know why you are here. A grave loss has come to the region. The Al Gore was a great man. He was a hero and a great one. He protected us and our families. You know him as your hero, the man who single-handedly defeated five, five of the cults. He is one of the greatest men the Torrin region has ever known. But, As you know, the Torn region is home to several cults. These cults contain terrible, terrible people, thieves, murderers, and worse. The Augur became a hero after he single-handedly defeated five of the different cults in the region. Um, did you just say that? Yeah, I understand he saved our lives. Anyway, a week ago, he went looking for one of the cults that still remained. He has not returned. He hasn't been seen since. People of the Torin, I like I, like you, do not believe our Algor is dead. I assure you I will work tirelessly to make sure our Algor is sound again. With a heavy heart I accept the burden of becoming the Algor until he is found. Until the first Algor is found, I shall be the second Algor. I promise you I will use every resource at my disposal to find him. These cultists have taken everything dear from us. They've taken loved ones and taken our homes. And now, they've taken our hero. I assure you, we will not live this... I assure you, we will not live this down. Okay, the, are you trying to be promotional or what? We will not let these cultists live. These terrorists, these insurgents split apart our families and destroyed the place we call home. Long live the Torrin region. Long live the Torrin region. Oh. We will remain strong. Um, I know you, you can do a challenge run, but all the different options didn't really seem that much fun. One of the options, like, called Nuzlocke where if your Pokemon faints you can never revive it like it's just it's gone I mean for the guy who was writing the video it seemed like it was a good idea but I'm like nah so I'm not gonna do a challenge run yes I am entirely sure um sure okay what am I trying to hear for can delay it oh of course I do I am apparently I can only put so many letters so uh, Nate it is sure Obviously a boy. No joke. No, no joke about that. All right. I'm definitely the one on the right. No, I'm not sure. Yes, I'm definitely a boy. <laughs> Let's go with the one on the left. That one's a little bit closer to me. The one on the right has the right hair color, but not the right skin color. So. Fuck you. Huh? 
Hunter or uh, Gengar. Okay, we got some cultists, I guess, that look kind of like Dark Ray. The controls are different for this game. Boss lady, I guess, or guy, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, well, I guess it's a she, because her name's Persephone. The memories should be gone within the hour. Excellent. As soon as the memories are gone, we'll have fulfilled our end of the bargain. Good work, you two. We are starting the ritual soon in the upstairs room. Will you be attending, or do you need to stay at the computer to supervise? I coded it myself, Ms. I don't need to su supervise it. It works perfectly. Very well. I'll see you upstairs in a moment. Miss, wait, I have a question. After the child's memory are gone, what do you plan to do with them? Kill them, of course. I expect you upstairs within two minutes. Why are we bothering to wipe their memories if they're just going to kill them anyways? No clue, but thanks for not asking that in front of her. <laughs> you know how she hates to be questioned. Let's go upstairs then. It's always fun to see a ritual being performed. I don't like the comma usage. Driving me n n nuts. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm pressing any and every key I possibly can. Where? Oh, wow. There's a Mew somewhere. Where the Mew? Mew. Oh. Mew. Mew. Thank you, my man. You saved me. You want me to follow Mew and get out of this hellhole? Never come back. Knowing our luck, we will see each other again. Good luck. Thank you kindly, stranger. Okay, apparently C is the action key. And X is the menu key. Let's us move on. I'm not going to bother trying to open these doors because they all look locked and knowing this game and having seen the walkthrough before, I don't need to even try. So let's go upstairs. Shall we? I'm going to go this way. Thank you. Hello again. I choose you to help you out of of this mess due to the special ability. Like all legendary and mythical Pokemon, Mew has an ability that no other Pokemon has. Mew is able to Mew is able to use the transform ability to change its form and disguise itself as something else. However, Mew requires the DNA of something in order to transform into it. If you can find the DNA, Mew can transform you into a different person. Disguising you, you can use this ability to hide yourself from enemies. You can use this to escape the base. Good luck, your benefactor. Well, apparently he's, uh, rooting me on, or it could be a she, I'm not entirely sure. Um, what is this? Let's clicky. Click, click. Ah, okay, okay. Dark Rite Cultist. Uh, let's talk to Mew. Transform, buddy, into Dark Rite Cultist. That is legit, son. You don't even know. How could you know? You're watching this for the first time. You couldn't have. Yes, unlock with my fingerprint. Okay, what's over here? Oh, someone blocking the way. Feel like at some point I'm gonna have to go through that way. Ooh, what's this? It's not a Pokeball. It's an ice heel, but that doesn't look like an ice heel though. That looks like um, what's what am I thinking of? Uh, an awakening? I think is what it, what, what, it, what it's called. Let's see. Bag. Apparently that's what an ice hill looks like. I don't believe it though. I don't believe it. Okay, so it's blue. 
Hmm. That doesn't seem right. But, hell, what do I know? Why, hello, brother. Don't mind me walking around with the Mew behind me. Okay. Uh, apparently, they're gonna sacrifice him. This bolt is freaking cutthroat, man. So cutthroat that they'll sacrifice their own people in the hopes of summoning Darkrai in the attempt to control him because there's a Darkrai cult. Foca vitutem ombra rum domino. I think I, I'm not entirely sure if I'm pronouncing it that. Oh, I love that. That death. That death voice, so typical of any video game ever. And she's trying to call, apparently she's done this before. It's a shame. That's a shame, apparently she has sister problems. Her sister's able to summon Darkrai whenever without needing to sacrifice. Apparently Darkrai likes her sister better. And now he teleported away again and decided to ignore her offers. And apparently he's in Selene City. Apparently these guys want to um, try again. Oh shit. What's going down? What's going? Oh shit, fire blast. Holy fuck, they're gone. Wow. Wow. Listen to me trying to act surprised. I already knew this was gonna happen. You don't even know. You don't even know. Let's go this way. I don't know what's this way, but let's see anyway. A burn heal. That looks like a paralyzed heal, though. Let's go back. I think we're gonna go back that one way, and I think the introduction is gonna be ending now. But I'm not gonna end this video until I feel like I've made some progress in this game because I now want to run <coughs> to run both games at the same time. Ooh, I'm outside now. Look at my blonde self. Look at me. Look at me. Let's go this way, obviously. It's so obvious! Ooh, it's a Pokemon battle! Oh my sweet Jesus. He's level 65, guys. Oh my god. Listen to me acting surprised. I knew this. I knew this. I feel like I'm not going to be allowed to keep him now. Another flute. Or a, a note with the flute. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm getting ahead of myself. The court flute allows you to call upon Mew when needed. This can be used used to utilize Mew's transform transformability, transforming you into someone else, or potentially changing Mew into a different Pokemon. To use it, go into your bag and either use it directly or register it for future use. Good luck, your benefactor. Well, you're a dick taking my Mew away from me. Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah, I know you wanted to, but you didn't. Because I did. It's mine, you can't have it. Of course I'm gonna the the auger. The auger. Try and say it like I'm from another country. The auger. 
but I won't try it very long. Alright. Let's talk to this lady. Oh! Of any Pokemon Center. Oh, okay. Those geniuses have been hiding it from him. I wonder if that streamer knows it. Last, last, when I was watching the videos, he couldn't figure out where the hell the Pokemart was. Let us see. Let's go inside and let us go upstairs and see the fancy Pokemon. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Let's buy some. Just for posterity's sake. Let's buy a couple repels. Again, for posterity's sake. You never know when you're going to need them. Go in here. I feel like this is an important place. Of course I offered my assistance because I'm a cool guy like that. Obviously, I would help you clean the street, but apparently you're done. So... This guy forgot his gift. Okay, and um, there's a rare stone in some caves. Of course, you need a Pokemon to explore the forest. And Mama Bird is like, fuck that shit. He ain't getting no fucking Pokemon. He's apparently just a child, but he's allowed to clean and fix the streets. He's doing manly work, but apparently he's not, sh he's not grown up enough to have a Pokemon of his own. And apparently that's not his real mom. It must be his adopted parents. He's like apparently antisocial and shit. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've handled Pokemon before. I handled Mew at level 65, bud. And find him a gift? Of course I will. Of course I will. Yes, of course. Sorry, I accidentally hit X, which I wasn't supposed to. Yes, if he shows responsible, he can keep the Pokemon. But if he messes up, he will never bring up the issue again about Pokemon nonsense ever. Nothing. Got it? Good. So, where are we heading to now? We're going to go... Uh, an Eevee? I don't want a freaking Eevee. Fuck Eevee. I don't want Eevee. Fuck Eevee. Don't tell me I'm getting an Eevee. Fuck that shit. Alright. Anyways, let us find the freaking uh, lab, I guess. I wasn't really reading it. Um, so I'm just gonna go into one of these rooms and we'll see if... Nope. Clearly not the lab. Ah, let's try here. This looks like it could be a lab. Apparently this guy is a criminal, but he doesn't believe in needless death. He believes in sur surgical strikes. Those surgical nuclear strikes with low casualty marks. The low casualty marks. The precision drone strikes. 
that allow us to kill as little civilians as possible because that is a needless death. Anyway, let us continue. Um, sure, I've heard of Delta Pokemon before. We're based on an idea scientists had about Pokemon a while ago. They're Pokemon that have different DNA than normal Pokemon. They're Pokemon that have a different type than they normally would. A good example would be an electric type Dragonite or a water type Porygon. These Pokemon that were given to me, these are Delta Pokemon. I'm not sure what type they are, but they seem to be genetic experiments of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and sort of what? Their scientific marbles letting a Delta species Pokemon die would be terrible to me. Now, normally I would give you an Eevee as a Pokemon to start you off on your journey. However, it seems there are three more options for you to choose from. These Delta Pokemon that the cult leader gave me, well, nobody wants a freak for a Pokemon. I can't imagine that most trainers would want to be friends with a Delta Pokemon. Pokemon that will never know friendship is sad. It's a sad, sad thing indeed, so I will offer you this. You may choose one of these three Delta Pokemon to be your companion. I only want I only want to keep one to study. If you're not interested in using one of these Pokemon, you can have the Eevee I normally reserve for trainers. So there are four options. Fuck Eevee, as I said before. I don't want to be a murderer. I don't care, I'm gonna pick my Pokemon. And he's gonna be apparently a fairy psychic type Delta Bulbasaur. Yes, I am sure. Yes. Jimmy, name him Jimmy. Yeah, of course not. I want the Delta Pokemon because it is badass. I don't want it because because it's evil or anything. I want it because it's better than an Eevee. And this game looks so much better than the other game. And he knows confusion off the bats. And why use Grell on me, you dumbass. This was too easy, buddy. Too easy. Yes, you did, son. You lost. I will, of course. I'm gonna head to the Shave Forest on the northern end of the forest is a really large cave, and in the middle of that cave is a rare stone we're looking for. Head into this forest and into the cave. I'll meet you there. That is a lot of thes. I am tired of the thes. Someone needs to get this kid into grammar school and fix this up fast. This is over explaining things, no reason to, too much dialogue. And too many commas. I don't like that many commas, get rid of the commas. If you see a Pokemon, it will be registered in the Pokedex. That sounds ridiculous. It should be, if you see a Pokemon, it will be registered in the Pokedex. No need to pause. If you catch one, the Pokemon Dex will be filled with, will be full of data regarding that Pokemon. Anyways, now that you've gotten that, you should be able to set it on your adventure. Head up to the North Cave, deep in the forest, and remember my warning. I hate these pauses. I'm just gonna ignore them. And apparently, Jimmy is following me. This is legit. Anyways, uh, how's your health doing, Jimmy? 
You're doing solid, Jimmy. You're doing solid. Let's keep this going. A Poke Gear, how nice. What's the Poke Gear give me? Ooh, online play? Fuck that. I'm sorry, but no. Okay, this ain't as dangerous than the new battle me, buddy. You're ridiculous, son. Ridiculous. My planning ahead went for my favor. He is a fighting type, and that is better. Make my life easier. It will be a problem though if I run into a dark type though. A bug type user, how nice. Let me guess. Got like a. Yeah, one of those guys. Well, it's a good thing I'm using special attack abilities. Yeah. And he got one. Why does it sound like someone's playing it? like an organ or something. I don't know what that instrument is called. It doesn't sound... No, oh, how nice. Apparently that one can survive. Fairy wind, how nice. Something to use against the dark types. <laughs> A fantastic battler. Someone's full of themselves. Let's do Fairy win. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Confusion! Get burned. So much for being a fantastic battler, you just got owned, son. That crit though. That crit though. That pit dove though. That crit though. <laughs> Jimmy is a total boss. Apparently I beat myself. Ooh, look, a Pokeball. It's an actual Pokeball, how nice. A Weedle. Fuck a Weedle. 
feel like at some point I'm gonna need to heal because Jimmy's gonna run out of PP eventually. and Rolla. He missed. How nice. Accuracy at half. And he missed again. That was a crit for four damage. How nice. He missed again. Come on. Come on, Jimmy. You can hit him. You can do it, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy. Come on. Come on, Jimmy. I know you have 50% accuracy, but still, man. You can't roll snake eyes every fucking time. Yeah, I don't know how you could call yourself a fighting type master when you don't even use them. Let's go to our bag and we're gonna heal up Jimmy. Just cause it's a good time to heal him up. Look, a super potion. Oh man. Ooh, look, a ghost type. Do I really want him? I don't know. He's a poison type, so he might work out to my favor if I run into any fairy type. And he put me asleep too. I'm already asleep, dumbass. I think now would be a good point to catch this ghastly just just because I mean he's probably I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of him at some point because he needs to be traded to evolve I don't know if they do that in this game or not he might just evolve at some specific level I'm already asleep dumbass All right, get in the Pokeball, Ghastly. Gotcha. No, I'm not gonna name him. All right. I think I have an awakening somewhere here. Yeah. Yes, I used my last one. Now that I've made my way to the cave, I guess, if you will, um, I think I'm gonna cut out here as soon as I enter the cave. So, uh, 
Thanks for watching the first episode of Pokemon Insurgents. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, later today I'll release part two of Insurgents and part three of Pokemon Rejuvenation. So look forward to seeing that on my channel here by the end of today. Thank you. Bye.